Merry Christmas to everyone celebrating today, and thank you for taking a little bit of time away from family and presents to hang out with me for a few minutes. Now that is what we celebrate here as well, and I try really hard not to make Toy Sember a Christmas special thing. You know, like, I'm using the least Christmassy song I can think of that's still, like, seasonal. But I can't help but making the 25th just a little bit special, and you guys know this if you've been watching long enough. So, since we saw what the White Ranger used to be wielding yesterday, I figured for today... Let's see what he's got now. This is Legacy Saba, the made-for-collector, screen-accurate redo of the original toy, and one of the most demanded ones when the Legacy line kicked off. First off, this thing is a lot bigger than the original toy, 24 inches long retracted, 27 and a half inches extended. I never saw the real one in person, but from the size and detail, this feels like prop replica quality. It's cast in heavy-duty white plastic, with a softer metal gray for the blade. It's not child safety soft, just noticeably different. A lot of the gold matches up with the original we saw yesterday, but the stickers are replaced by paint and the chromed parts are now plated die-cast, and there's a lot of it. Most of the gold you see in the hilt, as well as Saba's helmet, are metal, making this very heavy. It's almost a detriment at the point where the plastic meets metal. It feels a little unsound, but I think I'd have to give something a pretty solid whack with this thing to actually cause a break there. Everything in this toy is impeccably molded, from the trim of the gold to the deep lines in the handle, and much of the grooving being panel lined to bring depth to the details. The toy also lacks any kind of alterations to the original Saba toy. No lightning bolts, it's full-on Die Ranger detail. What surprises me the most is on the back side, the screw holes have all been plugged to make it look cleaner and it all matches. Plastic is plugged with plastic, die cast is plugged with die cast. That's incredible attention to detail. Saba's head has gotten an upgrade as well, much more detailed than the first. This is helped by the gray wash done on the face, giving it a worn look to match the show and making it look more realistic. Of course, it's not just the design that got an upgrade. The electronics did too, and they got awesome. First off, the attack button is now in the proper trigger position, and it actually has sword slashes now. Next up, Flip the sword over and you'll find another trigger for the slashes if you want to go underhanded. Then there's the buttons on the back of Saba's head. The left one causes a roar. Oh, and Saba's eyes light up and his mouth is fully motorized as he speaks. I might have left that part out. It's the button on the right where things get amazing. Saba comes loaded with six phrases, most of them from his debut episode, and they even play in the same order he says them in the show. Activate the Tiger Sword! Wait, Tiger Sword! Tiger Mode! Battle ready now! Oh, that was most impressive! I'm having difficulty getting through to the Red Ranger. I think you need a bit more power. I'll take care of him. From what I know, this is the original voice actor re-recording his lines, and it's matching the tone and pitch perfectly. For a while, I could swear they pulled the audio right from Saban's vault. True, the mouth doesn't sync to it well, but this was dubbed over a Japanese show, so I think that makes it more accurate. And with most legacy toys, holding down a button, in this case either one on the head, will play the theme song. And, and that, that's enough of that, I don't need the copyright strike. Suffice to say, it plays the full tv size theme song, lyrics and all. This isn't the little chiptune thing they snuck into the morpher. Bandai did an amazing job with this piece. At $100, it's a big price tag to choke down, but that's less than you'd pay for some prop replicas of other sci-fi weapons, and this one's fully electronic with some amazing nods to the original show. 
If you were a fan of the White Ranger as a kid, or you just never got Saba underneath the Christmas tree, this is going to do wonders for you. Now, while other advent calendar video series are calling it quits now, I keep going. We don't stop until this month stops. And I'm still in a nostalgic mood. So when we open tomorrow's present, we're gonna keep it to some classic upgrades.